Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Welcome to week four of the pantry and freezer challenge. So I have been cooking dinner this entire month and I needed a break today. So Howard and I went to this Asian grocery store called 99 Ranch and inside that Asian grocery store, they have um, different Chinese food vendors. And so that's what we picked up tonight. So this is Howard's plate. He got the rice and then he got vegetables and um, pork ribs. And then this is my plate and I got uh, lo mein. I also got the pork ribs and then I got um, Kung Pao chicken. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having oven baked Korean style chicken wings. And I did record a video on how I make these wings. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure which date I'm going to put it out yet, but they are really good and very spicy. With it, I am serving some fried rice. And let me grab the package here. I have actually shown this fried rice in our dinner videos before, and it is really good. I um, found it at the Asian grocery store, and you get three packets of the fried rice seasoning um, in there, and they are really, really good. Lots of flavor. Even though the rice doesn't look like it has a lot of flavor, it really does. I did decide to add in a scrambled egg and some green onions, but Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having tamale pie, and I did record a video on how I make tamale pie, and that will be out soon. If you're not familiar with tamale pie, it's basically like a pot pie, but with a cornmeal crust, very easy to make. And when I have tamale pie, I normally don't make sides to go with it, just like a pot pie. I don't usually have sides with that either. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having Philly cheesesteak grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't have a recipe um, for this at all. I'm just gonna wing it. But in my freezer, I had this beef shaved steak. I let it defrost. And what I'm gonna do is saute it with some onions and bell pepper and that's uh, frozen, it was in my freezer. I'm gonna season everything up with some steak seasoning. I've got some bread here and also some provolone cheese as well. And I have been craving some fried French fries, not air fryer, but fried. So last year I bought this Fry Daddy I uh, haven't used it yet, but I remember my parents used to have a Fry Daddy, so that is what I grabbed. I am going to fry some french fries. I have not fried anything in years and years and years, but I really just want some french fries. So anyway, let me get started. All right, so here's our dinner. Quick and easy to throw together. Those french fries are so good. You guys, honestly, it's been I can't even tell you the last time I fried something, but these french fries are so good. Not something I'm gonna do all the time. I'll probably, I'm sure, still be using the air fryer, but sometimes you just need a deep fried french fry. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I put together a freezer meal. So in my freezer, I have this shrimp scampi from Walmart, and it's actually pretty good. That was my first time buying it. I would definitely buy it again when I can go grocery shopping, but I just prepared the shrimp according to package directions. And in my pantry, I had probably about six, seven ounces of this thin spaghetti, and I um, cooked that up, drained it, didn't rinse it, and then I just added it to the cooked um, shrimp and then I had some Parmesan cheese, some grated Parmesan cheese, not the stuff in the green shaky container, but some real Parmesan cheese that I added in there as well. And it is very good serving it with some fresh sauteed broccoli. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.